I'm with Ashley Blake. He's a second year trainee pro here at the beautiful Tokemore Golf Club. We're on the 18th hole. We're in the right side bunker. Ash, two things. How do we get out of the bunker and where do we want to land it when we get out? Okay, well the first thing you want to get out. The first thing when you're in a bunker, you, you don't want to hit another one in there. So um, I'd be trying to get it definitely out and aiming at the top of the flag. The top so of the flag. So right you're... up at the top. Yeah? Right where the flag the flag's waving in the wind. Is that not too far? No, because we want to get it out, and especially on this pin position, it's downhill on the other side. So we want to give ourselves an uphill putt coming back to it because the greens are quite slick. If you leave it short, your next putt has a good chance of rolling quite a long way past the hole. Okay, well how are we going to get out in the first place? Um, the first thing, you would open your face up so the club slides nicely through the sand. Yeah. Um, secondly, you would just set up with your normal stance, maybe have it a little bit open, but it's pretty much up to preference. Where's um, the ball positioned in relation to the feet? Right under, um, right under your sternum. Don't worry about your feet. Don't think about feet. Think about having my sternum or my heart over the ball. So right in the middle, right in the middle of your chest. Okay, so, and then just pretty much sitting over it, make sure you're nice and low and relaxed. And then just one, two. Nice shot. So even though you're aiming for the top of the flag, that's dropped short, hasn't yes, it? Yes, it makes you follow through because you're, you're never going to naturally hit it that hard because naturally we'll never do that. So just making sure we get the ball out and hit it as far as we can in order to get an uphill putt.